This video is going to have a look at the final bit of calculation work that you'll need to do for the exam, which is calculating volumes. This is the equation that you'll need to know. So to work out the volume, it's the number of moles times by 24. The reason for that equation is this. One mole of any gas always occupies 24 decimeters cubed at room temperature and pressure. So therefore, if you have two moles, you times it by 24 and that will be 48 decimeters cubed and so on. So you can work out the moles for any reaction using moles equals mass and MR and then calculate the volume. So for example, if you had this question, which said find the volume of carbon dioxide produced when 2.7 grams of carbon is burnt completely in oxygen. The first thing you need to do is write out your balance symbol equation, which in this case, case is nice and simple. The next thing you need to do is work out the molecular formula for each. Then fill in the rest of the information that you know. So I know I've got 2.7 grams of carbon. And what I want to know is the volume of carbon dioxide. Now to work out the volume of carbon dioxide, I need to know the number of moles. So remember, moles equals mass divided by MR, which is 2.7 divided by 12. Now that, because the ratio is 1 to 1 to 1, means I've got 0 0.225 moles of everything else. So I've now got my moles of carbon dioxide, and I want to work out my volume. So if we go back to this equation here, my volume is moles times 24. So 0 0.225 times by 24, which comes out to 5.4 decimeters cubed. Give you another example. So what happens if you wanted to find out the amount of oxygen needed to produce the carbon dioxide? So in this case, what you would do is exactly the same. So you'd, you'd have your molecular formula for each, you know that you've got your mass there, so you'd be able to work out your moles. And then it would be exactly the same again, so 0 0.225 times 24, you would need 5.4 decimeter cubed of oxygen. So next example. How much hydrogen is needed to obtain 2.54 grams of copper by reducing copper oxide? So the first thing you do is you write out your balanced simple equation and fill in all the information that you already know. And again, you'll have a periodic table in the exam, so you'll be able to work out the molecular mass quite easily. Then, you know you've got 2.54 grams of copper, so that goes into here. And then, do your calculations. So work out the moles, which is mass divided by MR, so it's 2.54 divided by 63.5, which gives me 0.04. Because it's a ratio of 1 to 1 all the way across, I've got 0.04 moles of hydrogen. Then using the equation, volume is moles times 24. It's 0.04 times by 24, which gives me my answer of... 0.96 dm cubed. Which, if you wanted to convert that in centimeters cubed, it times by a thousand, which is 960 centimeters cubed. On a side note, if you wanted to work out the mass for any of these now, because you've got the moles, you've got the MR. You can then put that into the calculation, which would be 2 times 0 0.04, which is 0 0.08. But you don't need to worry about that. That's covered in a previous section. 
Have a go at some of the practice questions and if you're not sure, come and ask me.